a new desk, got a new setup, I've got everything new. I've got some LEDs behind here. I've got this little light bar over here, which I've just turned off. I've got all of this all set up, which looks amazing. But most importantly, I have a new desk. This desk is absolutely fantastic. Like genuinely, I've been wanting one of these motorized standy uppy city downy desks for a very long time. Now I have one and it's all thanks to FlexiSpot. FlexiSpot are linked below. They are providing these incredible desks and they are fantastic. You should buy one of these FlexiSpot city uppy standy uppy city downy uppy downy touchy feely desks. Today we're doing a POV with a 14 to 24 millimeter f2.8 Sigma lens and it's my day off. I'm having a day off and I'm chilling and I'm going to do a POV and relax and just enjoy the Sunday vibe. Hey guys, welcome back to another POV. Today I've got the 14 to 24 f2.8 Sigma with the Sony a7 III. Um, I'm just out today chilling, um, having a bit of a day off. Um, this will be live tonight, so can I squeeze past? Thank you. <laughs> All of the photos in today's video are edited with my presets. The link is down in the description. You get 114 for 10 quid. Super cheap, super affordable. So I've got a typical red telephone box on the left hand side. Um, some nice shadows coming in. I'm just gonna wait for something to go through the frame. Maybe a person um, or a cyclist or some sort. I'll have to wait for this car to move as well. Okay, so we get this nice simple shot here. I've got it at 24 mil. I've got the Telephone box on the left hand side of the frame. Nice and simple shot really, but I like the shadows on it. I'm gonna get a shot of the taxi driver here as well. See if we can see if we can get something. If we get down a bit. Let's focus on the the, the front wheel, I think works. I quite like the shadows as well. It's sweet, I mean we're only just getting started, which is uh pretty cool just uh, heading down now towards Trafalgar Square which is obviously blocked off because of the um, the Euro 2020 well 2021 but it's been pushed forward because of Covid well, well pushed back because of Covid. Advantages and disadvantages to using such a wide angle um, when you're shooting the street. One disadvantage is you have to obviously get closer to subjects to be able to get a shot of them um, you know, typically if you're using like a 35, 55 or even 85 or a 7200 or anything along those lines, you can typically be a bit further away from your subject so you don't have to be so invasive. This side where people come out of the underground, out of the subway and get a nice wide shot, I think, I think that could work. Sweet. I like that a little bit. Um, a little bit random. I like the shadows today. It's very harsh lighting, so the shadows are very harsh as well. Uh, let's get a photo of the bus driver because it's a, you know, it's a POV. It's an optical wonder POV. Wouldn't be the same if I didn't get a shot of a bus driver. Uh, 24 mil, 30 hundredth of a second. That's cool. Thank you. They don't really seem to mind. Good start so far. Um, I want to get some of those action shots. So actually there's some, double yellow lines over here. So I'm gonna get it to 14 mil, get down low. There's some cyclists coming as well. I can't actually see the, the frame because it's so, so bright. I'm just gonna to have to hope that it's, uh, that it's doing its thing. Oh, I'm just telling Linda Pierce you look like a bell in that dress. <laughs> and I think I got the bus as well with the, the ladies on the bike going through. What did it focus on though? Because I couldn't see the screen. Focused on, Oh, that's nice. It focused on the floor. But I mean, comment below. Does that work? I think it works. It's kind of a different perspective. I would have liked the focus to be on being on them, but nonetheless, just down here, um, I really like this street, this archway. Um, so I'm just going to jump down there quickly and get the shot that I want to get. Because um, there's yellow lines on the left hand side as well. So you can use those as leading lines to this lovely archway. Uh, 500 of a second, we'll go to 14 mil, f2.8, ISO 100. And again, because obviously it's a bit darker in here, I can see the screen, so. I wanna wait for a bus to go through the frame because it'll look better. Hey, how are you? Yeah, not bad. Don't worry, I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> I'm not crazy. 
Well, it's still payable. You been busy? Yeah. It's a good thing and a bad thing, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe we'll go back into another lockdown and we can all have some more peace. Okay, so I can see in the reflection on the window over there that there's a bus stopped here at the traffic light. So once the lights go green, I'll be able to see them go through the frame and then I'll have my shot. So because obviously the 14 mil is so wide, I can actually see above the building as well as the floor, which is the advantages. Have a nice day, dude. Which is the advantages to obviously having a wide angle. Obviously, because I've got it on the silent burst mode, it's in this quiet area. It's, uh, it's, it's a lot better. So if we just do a quick example. So this is with the shutter turned off. So that's the silent shutter. And then this is with the shutter turned on. So you see the difference? And especially in such a quiet area, um, it's it's very easy to hear. I want to get more shots, like just, you know, simple shots um, as well, because I find when I go out, I'm always, I'm always telling myself, I'll oh, get this, get that, try and get this. And I almost pressure myself to try and get those, those killer slash banger shots, which aren't needed, you know? You're just out telling a story. And although I do that, I always want to try and get something different but you don't have to sometimes it's about polishing your skills and and you know evolving yourself as a photographer um there's not one photographer that has finished learning you can know and, and be very knowledgeable within your your sector and your game but you're always continuously moving and evolving as a creative because that's just how it works this is really cool these uh these shutters if you ever want to do some portrait stuff um, this is a really nice street. It's just off from Mayfair. Um, I'll get the street name in a minute. Um, I just want to get this. Let's just throw that up. So, 1,600 per second, f2.8, ISO 100. Really simple shot, I know. Really nice. I just like the color of the doors. It'd be cool if someone was walking through the frame, but it's not essential to showcase, to show you guys how you could use it. B R U T O N place Brutton place the streets called Brutton place b r u t o n just for anyone who would like to save it in their maps for uh, portrait stuff in the future it's lovely and dead in mayfair at the moment um, i'm going to do a huge loop and then i'm going to head to hagen because at the moment i'm from my instagram i'm trying to do um a live every morning to have a coffee with you guys and just ask you you know see if there's any questions just to chill out have a bit of a, a chat and, and, and relax, really. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, head over to my Instagram and, and follow. Um, I try and do that every day. So you've got the bigger building in the background and then you've got this street coming up. So I'm going to down a little bit to give us a little bit more scale. Okay, so taxi coming through the, taxi coming through the frame now. Cool, that shows scale, which is cool. Um, Okay, so you've got these two Ferraris parked in front of uh, Sexy Fish. So I'm going to get a couple of shots here. I'm going to get one side on. I'm going to get one off as well. Just the, the front wheels here. On the front end. That's nice because of the shadow, like it looks really nice. Um, so I'm going to wait for a car to go past. I'm going to throw it on F2. Point, uh, I'm going to throw it on F22, um, and then I'm going to put it down to probably get away with ISO 50. Sixth of the second. So 24 mil, I've got it at sixth of a second, F22, ISO 50. I'm just gonna wait for somebody, like uh, any car, I think black would look good coming towards me. So that car is obviously gonna be in motion, so it could be a longer exposure. Then obviously the Ferrari is gonna be in frame and nice and still. Okay, Mercedes will go past quick, come on, fly past. Okay, one of them has got to have it, surely. 
I'm having to use the eyepiece a lot today because of the how bright it is. Nice simple shot there. I'm going to push down here and then I'm going to go around the back and come back on myself and go down Carnaby. Cool, I like that. Uh... Okay, coffee shop just opened. I'm going to help. Debbie, I'm going to help you take stuff out. I'm like your best customer. I have to be your best customer. Wow. You're welcome. Hey. Say hello again to the POV, then I'll put it in. Look at all the people saying hello. Hi, people. Hey. Oh my God, look at me. Just speed up. And we're gonna get him as he comes through. I've got like this thing on the floor, which said, look right. I don't know if it looks any good though. Okay, so there's a shot I wanna get up here. I don't know if the frame is gonna to be too crowded, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so I'm going to be at 24 mil, 6,400th of a second, f2.8, ISO 100. And I'm just waiting for one person ready to be in the frame. Okay, I think, I think I got it. Yes, sweet. Okay, got it. Happy with that. Done. Sometimes you do have to wait for the shot that you want to get. Um, but that's photography. Being patient, having patience is part of being a photographer sometimes and uh, sometimes you gotta wait for the shot. You're good. Thanks though. The shot I'm gonna get is, you see these openings here? Obviously people are walking on that side, so I prefer it on 24 mil. Okay, so I'm just waiting for somebody to walk through the frame. Um, I'm gonna use this here. There's those people walking through now, which you can see as a visual. Um, I think there's one dude coming down. There's a couple of people coming down. I don't really want a lot of people, but let's just go for it anyway. I'm happy with that, that's on the screen. So it's about trying to find natural frames. We're gonna head down this way. It's about finding natural frames and, and being simplistic in the way that you shoot. You don't always have to get bangers, and that's the whole point of today. And I do this quite often, and I'm gonna start recording these days where I just go out and shoot. Um, there's nothing intended, there's no, um, there's no set course. I just go out and just enjoy the day. Like here, you've got this really nice shadow. And if I expose for the highlights, I just want someone walking through that. I think that would be quite cool. So again, another really simple shot there um, with the light just, just casting onto parts of his leg, which is really, really nice. Um, yeah, it's those simple shots that I really do enjoy the most. Um, and when you start looking for them, those little tiny details, that's when you, your, your, your mind starts. Unfortunately, I have to go because I've got to go and get this edited and uploaded. Um, but it's why it's good just to go out and shoot, to keep your mind refreshed and keep your, uh, your eye in. I, I find when I have like a longer period of time where I haven't shot, I end up... Um, not, not losing my ability to shoot, but it takes me longer to get into it. So the, long, the more you get used to carrying your camera, the more you get used to shooting and, and searching for frames, the more you become comfortable with doing it as well. You know, being out in the street talking or, or being out in the street and shooting, you know, it's about becoming comfortable with doing that. And at the end of the day, you're not gonna do that until, you know, you get out and do it. So if you are concerned about shooting or doing shoot photography or feeling awkward doing it, go out, own the thing that you're good at, which is taking photos, go and learn and just enjoy the process. Let's jump into the hashtag and see which photos catch my eye today. Okay, as far as days off goes, I've had quite a chilled slash busy one, but it was nice to go out and just have a relaxing morning, just shooting and, and enjoying my Sunday. The hashtag is at 99,000 Post 99,000. Do you even do you even understand the size of that number? 99,000 posts. I started the hashtag last year. That's insane. 99,000. 19. A hundred thousand is in one less than 1,000 post time. It's crazy. It's amazing. Thank you all so much for using it. I'm going to scroll down the most recent. We're going to have a look at some of them now, and. Just thank you so fucking much. I really appreciate it. 
This is from Brit Food 2019. So that says 2015, not 19, but still. That's a cool shop for going through the fence. I like that. That's a really cool shop. That's I like that a lot. That's cool. That's a dope shot because you've got the reflection as well on the other side so you can see inside while being outside. It's a dope shot. That's also a cool shot. I like that too. Uh, this one's from Unlucky Pixel. Well, I can assure you there's a lot of lucky pixels in there because it's dope as fuck. Nice. Scrolling down, uh, Remy, ah, clicked on something else. Remy Beltman Photography. Sick. I really want to shoot a deer, as in like photography. Photography, I want to shoot take a photo of a... That went bad. I want to take a photo of a deer. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Um, scrolling down, that's a nice candid shot there from Rob Tellem. Rob Tellem? Rob Tell? Robert? Robert Elm? Rob Elm. Rob T. Elm. Scrolling down a bit more, that's a cool panning shot from Equal Grammars. They've, I think, reposted that. Let's have a look at more. Who took that in the first place? Cam Visuals. You don't follow me, but Cam Visuals, if you ever watch this, nice shot. Scrolling down a bit more. Let's go with this one here from Focal412. Pretty much the same face I have when I'm scrolling through Instagram and see photo after photo with those cheesy inspirational quotes. Like why? Hashtag quit doing that please and thank you. Well, create more, stress less. <laughs> I'm so sorry about my inspirational quotey texts. It's not aimed at me, I know, but great shot. Uh, scrolling down. <laughs> uh, that's cool. From Calves, Calve Shoots. Cal Carve Shoot? Carve Shoot? Calve Shoot. I like that. Uh, let's do four more. That's a cool shot from Flip Book Designs. And then we've got this cool car here from It's Gems Photos. And then let's go with, I like the depth in this one. That's a cool one from Mystic One, Mystic Wound? Mystic Wound. Cool. Uh, that's a cool perspective. Looking, I don't know what you're looking through. Ooh, a fence. Answered in the next slide. From Nick Olas, Nicholas, album. Let's do one more. Uh, this is uh, uh, this isn't doesn't count, but this is from Optical Wonders. That's the other page that myself and Roxanne run. And um, if you're not following it, go and follow it. We repost some of your photos on there. So FYI, go and follow that. Scrolling down, uh, let's do this last one, and we'll do a little random scroll. We're just scrolling. I don't even know if it's even going down. Who knows? And we're going to stop on there. What's that one? That's from Unbound Vision. Was that taken by Unbound Vision? Or is it reposted? It is taken by Unbound Vision. Dope shot, I like that a lot. Thank you all for using the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram. If you do want to use it, just pop it in the caption when you post a photo and it'll appear on the hashtag. We're gonna reach that 100,000 mark this year, which is insane. 100,000 posts in a year. Fuck. Thank you all so much for the continued support. I know I've been a little bit laxed on, on contact and, and engagement. I've been incredibly busy with, with uh, client and contract stuff. Um, I've got some campaigns coming up which are super exciting. Uh, one of which is with Asus, A-S-U-S, -S, the laptop company. Um, and I've got this that I'm shooting soon. So stay tuned for that. It's a magnetic, magnetic variable ND filter from Freewell, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, what else have I got going on? Uh, Mazda, I've got a car coming from Mazda hopefully soon, which will be, uh, I'm going to shoot. I'm going down to Plymouth over the next couple of days as well because I've got um, some contracted stuff down there. Um, I'll talk about the contract soon. I, I know I keep saying that, it doesn't matter. It's not like a huge thing. It's just, I, I think it's kind of cool. I'll talk about it in the future. I'm being a bit hush-hush because at the moment, it's at the beginning and I don't want to just like, whatever. Create more, stress less, and I'll see you in the next one. I think the next video that will come up is um, pretty cool. If you've made it this far, you might as well consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and hitting the like button. And if you want to comment anything down below, go down and uh, comment the word underground tunnel.